to another video coming to you live from southeast Louisiana down here at Bobby Bobby Blaze, Bobby Bobby Forge. Uh, <clears throat> another beautiful day down here in southeast Louisiana. It's about 72 degrees. Gotta love it. Uh, weather been pretty screwy one day. It's uh, 50, the next day it's 85. But anyway, <clears throat> I've been putting a lot of videos on uh, YouTube about uh, forming the billets, making the billets up, putting them into forge, pressing them and everything else. But I think this time what I want to do is uh, I'm going to show you how I actually come up and make the original billet that's going to become a blade. Uh, I have a partner, Paul Cook, out there. I'm sorry, Paul out at, uh, in California. I'm going to make an, uh, I was going to make a knife for him. I actually made a, a really nice uh, billet. And then uh, once I started chatting with him, he asked me if I could make him a hatchet. So, uh, you know, Bobby Bobby Blaze, we always aim to please. So uh, I scrapped that billet, put it away for something else, and uh, we're going to make him a billet today to make him a cap and hatchet out of Damascus steel. Uh, one thing I did, uh, because it's going to be a, a ton of steel, it's going to be a really big billet. Uh, I went and got a leaf spring, which is really high, hard carbon steel, and uh, I cut it up. So this is a bunch of my partners have been dropping some leaf springs off every now and then. I think this one's off a golf cart. So uh, that's what I used for uh, the steel. So I got my steel. I cut them up into five inch pieces. Uh, that's the high carbon steel. Uh, I got five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, I got six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six of uh, 15 and 20 chrome. Cleaned it up real good again. Every video, I'm going to stress this out. If you're not going to clean your steel before you make Damascus steel, don't bother making Damascus steel because you're going to get nothing but inclusions, delaminations, and everything else. It's super important to clean your steel. So, uh, took me about a day to get everything all cut and cleaned, and uh, I got them all here. So, uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to zoom in to uh, zoom into the vise, show you how I put everything together. I'm going to put it in the vise. I'm going to uh, MIG weld it all together and show you how we make a billet before we even put it in the forge. So give me a second to reset the camera. <laughs> Alright, you won't be able to see my head, but that's alright. Hopefully I'm better at uh, making blades than I am at uh, doing videos. So the way I'm going to do this one, I'm going to take a piece of my high carbon steel. It is approximately a quarter inch thick. So we're going to take my first piece of carbon steel, piece of 15 and 20 chrome, carbon steel, 15 and 20. And we're going to keep going until we get all the pieces put together. And basically, we're making a sandwich. Another piece of high carbon and 20. High carbon and 20. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put chrome on both of the outsides of this billet. The only reason I'm doing that is because there's going to be a ton of high carbon steel in this and uh, I really want the chrome to, to bling out. So after you get that done, open this vise a little bit, we're going to get it about as square as I could possibly get it. Take your C-clamp, Clamp everything together. Like I said all this uh, all this metal has been cleaned uh, with a grinder. Get all the mill scale. I'm gonna adjust this because that one piece is moving on me. Let me reset this piece. Now uh, my 15 and 20 is a little bit wider than what my uh, carbon steel is, but that's not going to be a problem. Because after I get this welded together, I'm going to put it on a, take my four inch grinder and, and clean it up. Alright, so you got it all clamped together. 
that's pretty good. Give it a little, a little tap on the vise. That's just gonna sort of layer it out, but you can see where I'm saying it's uh, a little bit higher than the other stuff. So we're gonna put this in the vise. Clamp it down real good. Now I didn't worry about cleaning up the sides too much over here. There's still some mill scale and some rust on it, but that's going to be cleaned off once I hit it with that 4 inch grinder. Get my welding hood on. And we're going to MIG weld these together. And this is going to form your billet. <coughs> I like using the MIG welder. Uh, just recently got it. It's a lot better than trying to do it with stick. So, uh, let me turn my gas on on my welding machine. Turn the welding machine on. And we're going to weld these together. So I got one side welded together. So I'm going to take it out, flip it over. And because of the way it is here, I'm not going to be able to uh, really get a, an awesome weld job, but I'll do the best I can for uh, video purposes. piece of rebar as a handle so we're just going to stick this here right on the end of it. Always hook up your leads.
All right, let's shut my welder off. Readjust the camera so you can see my pretty face. All right, so I'm gonna take the C clamp off it while it's still in the vise. Still in the and that is gonna be your billet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a grinder, I'm gonna clean that off so it's all flush. And I'll probably put two more welds on it off camera. Then I'm gonna put this in the forge and get it hot. Now if you can see there's some gaps up in between here. I'm not concerned about that. Especially when I'm doing a big chunk of steel like this. This is heavy. This is probably a good seven pounds of metal right there. But by keeping the gaps in there, it's going to allow the heat from the forge to go in between each layer. And I really want that on, on a real big belt like this so it heats everything. The thinner stuff is going to get hot a lot quicker than the thicker stuff. So I want that heat to go through. It's probably going to take a good 45 minutes for this to get hot enough until I can set the welds. So uh, I'm going to go get a grinder, get this all cleaned up, and uh, I'll show you another video uh, once I get it up in the forge and get it up to heat. And uh, if, if I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll, I'll videotape, uh, or I'll video, yeah, videotape, I'm an old man. I'll video uh, setting the wells and starting the forging process with the press. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Go to my YouTube page, sign up, Bobby Bayou. All right, all right, all right.